Bonjour et bienvenue to another episode of Champagne Jane TV. I'm Champagne Jane, your secret agent for Champagne shopping. Today we're here at the Vine Store in the Paris end of Surrey Hills and we're here to find out what the champagne bargains are of the week are. Come with me. Bonjour, here we are at the Vine Shop Bottle Fridge. A fabulous selection of quite unusual champagnes here and I'm really excited because there's lots of grower champagnes. Now, when you drink champagne, you obviously want to go from light to heavy, same as you would from white wine to red wine. So the first champagne of the bargain of the week this week is down here. Now, this is Pierre Peters. This is a small father and son operation in Le Mille sur Roger, which is the premium Grand Cru village of the Côte des Blancs. So this is the area where they make salon. Pierre Peters makes uh, a Grand Cru sing single vineyard champagne here. It's only $79.95. So $80 for a Grand Cru Blanc de Blanc champagne compared to $500 for a vintage salon. An absolute bargain. This is um, mineral, it, 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 it's complex, it's, it's light, it's, it's like lace. So it's a beautiful champagne to start with. I'd have this with lobster, prawns, uh, or any kind of grilled fish. That's my first champagne bargain of the week this week. Second champagne, so if, if you start your meal with a Blanc de Blanc, then you want to obviously move on to um, a heavier style of champagne, probably a, a Pinot based champagne to actually go with your main course with your protein dish. So the champagne I would choose for that here in the vine shop is the Gatinois. Gatinois again is a boutique producer um, from the village of Aille, which is the place where Bollinger is founded. So Gatinois actually sell a number of their grapes on to Bollinger to make Bollinger champagne. So you have the Bollinger style without the Bollinger price. This wine here today is $89.99. So we've got $70 for the Blanc de Blanc, $90 for the Blanc de Noir, then still keeping in the same region, this is a stunning rosé, quite an André Cruet, based in the village of Bouzy. Bouzy again in the Montagne de Reims. Um, uh, Bouzy is quite animalistic, it's quite a rich style of Pinot Noir, so this, this champagne has plenty of body, but it's also very refined. So we've got three grower styles there. We have Pierre Peters, Blanc de Blanc, we have the Gatinois Blanc de Noir, and here we have the André Clouet. So there's three, I know, I know it's normally one champagne bar in the week, but there's so much choice there. And last but not least, I should also mention, as I love them so much, Prenez Jocroix, another fantastic style um, of rosé. This is a Seigneur rosé. It's from the Premier Cru village of Cumière, which is the earliest ripening village in Champagne. Um, and it's the village that's right next door to Auvillier, which is where Dom Perignon was cellar master. So another grower style, and um, this one's slightly more expensive at $115, but it's got enough body in it that you could actually use it to go with dessert as well. Strawberries and syrup, Eton mess, something like that. And last but not least, I do want to choose one vintage champagne of the day. And for that one, here we have Paul Roger. We have a few still privately owned family champagne houses. This is the 1999 vintage. So we've got 11 years age on this beautiful bottle of champagne. Um, it's a mixture of all three grape varieties. And this is $110. So for an 11 year old champagne, that's actually a pretty good value. Thank you. Cheers. And see you soon on another edition of Champagne Jane TV.